What's up YouTube, it's Hegemony, and this is a little update of my one month character. Um, we've qu made quite a lot of progress. Um, level 81, I finished level, or rank 59th on the, the ladder last night. Um, I'm just going to go over some of the gear that I've acquired. I think I paid around 8 chaos for this wand, and then I mastercrafted cast speed. I think that's a steal of a deal, considering it has spell damage, fire damage, and now cast speed. Um, this helmet I actually found myself. Um, uh, I think it's worth probably, I don't know, it's worth quite a bit because of the chaos res. I would say 20 to 25 chaos at least. Um, this shield I bought, uh, I found and then I mastercrafted cast speed on it so it didn't cost me anything. This necklace I think I paid around 6 chaos and then I put an alk on it for the mana regen very very cheap I purchased this ring for about 5 chaos and then I put cold resist on it this one I had bought for I believe 5 chaos this was a steal of a deal uh, I couldn't believe I got it for this cheap but amazing amazing ring um, as far as this, these pair of gloves I think it cost me 1 chaos that's what he wanted um, and these boots I paid I think about 3 chaos for uh, the belt I found I actually need a new belt very shortly the chest I bought 6 socketed uh, with the top 4 stats but it was kind of a sleeper because it had an extra suffix available um, so we had you know I put fire res on it and now it's tri res with life and it was already 6 socketed it's probably worth five linking at this point uh, since it's so early in the league and the likelihood of me finding a carcass jack is it's not very good um, but uh, I may five or try to six link this who knows probably go with five and then accidental six link but that's just a an update on the gear as far as like currency wise I'm looking very very uh, handsomely I haven't spent too too much Plus, I've been just mass mapping and collecting. I have used a lot of chromes. It actually took uh, about 180 chromes to get this to be four red. Even though it's two, it's actually a hybrid armor and evasion piece. So that was very frustrating. Uh, but other than that, the chromes have been pretty nice. This one took quite a bit too. Um, but let's look at our links. Decoy Totem, Faster Casting, and Arctic Armor. I actually had my Val Flame Blast uh, tied with Conk Effect, but recently I had to put the decoy fast cast into the shield, so I had to f give away uh, one of my links. But the Val Flame Blast and Conk Effect made it for very good single target damage. Now it's going to do a lot less without the Conk Effect, but you know I still get uh, purity of lightning. That's the thing that I've changed today. Going into today's mapping. I'm going to focus on maximizing both of these resists. If I was running Cloak of Defiance, uh, you could see I would have a lot more mana reserved, unreserved, and I'd most likely run without Purity of Lightning, Mind Over Matter with Cloak. But since I don't have Cloak, I'm going to run Purity of Lightning. This is all subject, subject to change. It could change at any time. So we have Herald of Thunder with a low level reduced mana and Lightning Warp. And then we have Fire Pen, Ellie Prolif, Spell Echo, and Flame Blast on a 4 link. And then we have Conk Effect, Fire Trap, Fire Pen, and Chance to Ignite. Now my Fire Trap is, serves kind of a different role than you've previously seen in my other videos and my other builds. My Fire Trap is just a utility, or utility single target skill to take out very pesky mobs, whether it be an Undying Totem, whether it be a P-Link, or just a boss that's just constantly casting where I can't afford to sit there and do this so instead I'll just you know put up flammability and then throw fire traps like uh, I can't do it on the map device but let's just say it's in the middle and I'm getting really good single target damage by doing so while not having to cast and then I also have Val Flame Blast that's also like a global that I can spend and keep uh, you know being mobile um, okay so We'll look at the tree. Uh, pretty much I have everything that I ever wanted. Uh, as it, 
uh, I was progressing outside the Templar tree. I didn't have to respec all too much. And then from Light of Divinity, I just beelined it to Quick Recovery and ignored all these nodes. I came back for them. After that, I went towards Elemental Dominion, and I needed to pick up, pick up the Resist nodes. Because my gear was very, very bad self-found. After that, I proceeded to get Practical Application because I needed Dex badly. And then I moved to Deep Wisdom, Heart of Soul. I think after Heart of Soul and after Blast Radius. Actually, you know, after I picked up this area node, that's when I went to go pick up these nodes. The really, really good burning damage nodes and chance to ignite. Then I proceeded up here to get more all res. And then deep thoughts for mana regen. And then I went Eldritch Battery. After Eldritch Battery, I proceeded to get Static Blows and 5% chance to shock. And then I went up this way to get all the sweet fire ignition nodes. And then I believe I filled out this. I had a essentially acquired everything that I wanted from both Templar and Witch Tree. And then it was time to move on to Shadow, but notice there was like you'd have to spend at least four points to just even get into the you know shadow area. So instead of spending on these three int nodes, I actually picked up spell block, this and mind barrier, and I even went uh, this twelve percent elemental damage node. And then when I had enough to get five points, I I respect out of those, respect out of that, and then my next level I went one, two, three, four, five, and then I proceeded to get these two. I think this landed on a piety kill, so that came out really nicely. Now I'm just going into shadow, getting trickery, gonna head down to blood siphon coordination, and then hit up these nice cast speed nodes and elemental damage, and essentially I'll be done. Everything else will be thrown into defense. I'll have everything that I ever wanted. Um, some options would be elemental damage, I could go flask nodes or shield block, I could go uh, heart of flame. It's all going to be dependent upon how I feel the, uh, the character is doing both in offense and defense. But that's just a quick rundown of what's been going on in the one month race. I finally hit uh, two achievements. I'm still looking to get a boss kill, probably through Azana daily. And I have six more out of the 18 that I need for the missions. And as I get them, I will be wearing them. I think it looks pretty damn cool already. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you guys have any questions, feel free to hop into my stream and ask. I'll see you guys later.